Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to EVE Talk, your weekly look at the EVE Online markets. And the retribution, it doesn't only bring us a lot of gift, gifts, a lot of new content, but it also seems to have brought back a few YouTubers, which is very good news in my opinion. So not only did Dr. Ogres restart uh, with the YouTube series, um, Kill2 is back as well with some PvP videos. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, if you want to find their channels, you can just go to my channel and I have them featured um, on there. Now we're here for the market though, and uh, we'll get started as always with, uh, with Tritanium, just to get a look uh, what minerals are doing uh, on the one year chart. Still pretty flat around six ISK. Let's have a quick look at the data in Jita itself. Um, 613, 612 uh, for the buyer, 608. So still uh, exactly the same as last week, I would say. Um, just above 6 ISK and no margin whatsoever. Moving on to Pyrite. Where is it? Right there. A slightly rising chart uh, on the 20 day moving average. Pretty interesting. Uh, but still well below 15 ISK. We're not talking about big margins here yet. 1459, 1451. What the hell? So there's gotta be. Uh, that's pretty strange. Normally you shouldn't be able to set up either that sell or that buy order like this. Ah no, 59. All right, so it's not 49. I was uh, looking at the wrong number there. So 1459 for the sellers, 1451 uh, for the buyers. Once again, no margin, but uh, a slight uptrend. Uh, on the chart, moving on to Mexalon, which uh, is once again flat with a bit more fluctuation, still hanging uh, just above that 60 ISK. And in station, we have 60, 46, 60, 18. So I would say uh, minerals still flat, um, no margin there whatsoever. So we'll, we're still seeing just supply and demand being pretty damn stable. Uh, let's move on to the Tick One ships. I'll have a quick look at the Drake. Uh, which after a correction, a pretty serious correction actually, it went from I would say 47 back to 51, 52 now. Uh, seems to have stabilized a bit. And let's have a look at the market data. 51, uh, 234 to 235 uh, for the sellers and 49, 800 for the buyers. So yeah, the Drake has settled back quite nicely actually. And I'm also going to take a quick look at the Milstrom, which um, it's pretty much the same chart actually with uh, 200 million then it dipped down below maybe 190 something like that and then right now it's back up above well above 200 million let's have a quick look at the prices um, 218 million for the sellers 205 million for the buyers uh, but overall if you look at these charts um, they mirror the the minerals quite well, so tick one market's pretty stable. Uh, maybe a slight uptrend is visible here due to increased demand because more players are playing EVE Online, uh, but uh, doesn't feel like anything special is going on here. Let's move on to the tick two uh, market with the Guardian. Uh, we get a bad data point here at 600 million, so the variations are not as visible. Maybe it's better if I go on the six month chart. Um, there you can see those big fluctuations. Uh, the, the first big one between 180 and 120 million but right now it seems to be moving between 120 160 up and down right now we seem to be close to a bottom so i would expect uh, the margin to be pretty thin uh, which it is 127 500 123 600 so that's a 4 million margin um, i'm expecting this to turn around um, strangely enough right here we have a stall in the uptick on the five day moving average uh, but uh, yeah from here out it the trend was broken right here uh, five day moving average mo moved above the green line the 20 day moving average but right now they're back together so i'm expecting uh, guardians to go up now and then to become trade worthy again with an increase in the margin but yeah the take two market still uh, very uh, changing market, uh, very trade worthy in my opinion. Uh, moving on to the tick tree, um, I'm going to just have a quick look at the Tengu, which is still on that downward trend towards 180, so it might just not be 
the best uh, ship to to gauge the tick tree marketing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to also have a look at the Loki and add that one to the quick bar so for the Loki we do also know a downtrend just not as pronounced as uh, the Tengu because uh, the Loki has less problems with the uh, missile nerfs and I do think that Lokis are used in, in zero zero warfare so I think it's a better one so still a downtrend clearly visible on the one year chart um, uh, although it's not as pronounced yeah I would say take trees um, yeah it's the time to buy not the time to sell moving on to a quick look at the post fuels um, maybe through the Galente fuel blocks still hanging around uh, below 13,000 is something like that um, not a lot that's going to move there until we hear changes from CCP and same with technetium still very very low below 80,000 isk and once again I don't think we'll see this moving seriously unless CCP announces some drastic changes so I'll end up with the plex um, all right pretty Pretty interesting to see that 5 day moving average move lower there. I'll go to the 3 month chart just so we can get a better look. Well, it's not that pronounced actually. It did dip below the 20 day moving average. Um, but it's it's struggling to go below that 580 million band. So I would say, judging from this one year chart at the moment, that uh, this is going to be the new bottom for Plex at the moment, unless anything drastic uh, happens uh, that CCP intervenes in the Plex market. Uh, we've known now from the dev blog that uh, Plex has been the main driver behind uh, whatever inflation there was in New Eden recently. Uh, that's pretty obvious with that sharp rise but right now we're not seeing that drop back which we did last year and as you can see right here we're coming at the end of the drop um, and back into a rising uh, chart at the beginning here which I would expect is a possibility at this point just because there are more people uh, that have been playing uh, with retribution and they're going to start coming up to one month uh, they'll want to buy Plex so that does mean increased demand um, yeah personally I wouldn't be surprised is surprised if this uh, 580 million which is uh, yeah, 581 uh, 573 for the buyers and a healthy 13 no that's just 7 million is margin so even a very close margin i think this is the correct price and i think this is going to be close to the bottom don't expect plex to go any lower so um i'll wait i think one more week see if the uptrend materializes and then i might actually buy a couple plex myself anyways that's it guys um, i'm trying to make this one a bit shorter than the previous ones a quick look at the eve online market and i will see you all next time